here's tonight's 9 at 9. Catastrophic damage left behind by severe weather in areas of the country. At least seven people dead, five in Missouri, one in Oklahoma, and one in Iowa. Heavy rains have caused flooding throughout the Midwest, forcing rescues and washing away homes. More than 170 tornadoes have been reported across the country since Friday. Six Brazilian tourists visiting Chile were found dead in an apartment they were renting there. Among the dead, a family of four with two children and another couple. Investigators believe the cause of death could be carbon monoxide poisoning. Five dogs responsible for the deadly mauling of a Massachusetts teenager will be euthanized. The 14-year-old was alone watching over the animals when he was killed. The dog's owner was out of town at the time. He is cooperating with police. Deadly airstrikes in Syria over the past three weeks have led to the deaths of more than 200 people. This video shows white plumes of smoke in the aftermath of airstrikes. The UN Human Rights Office says it is extremely worried about the military escalation in this area. A car burglary suspect recovering from a gunshot to the leg. That's after he was shot by a San Antonio police officer outside of a Westside hotel. According to SAPD Chief William McManus, the officer at first tried to de-escalate the situation, but the suspect became combative. The officer has been placed on administrative leave. Facebook removes 2.2 billion fake accounts in just three months. That number is almost the same as the number of real accounts on the platform, which is 2.38 billion. The company says a lot of the fake accounts come from automated attacks. Technicians are usually able to delete them minutes after they're created. Protesters calling for better conditions for McDonald's employees. The activist group called Fight for $15 organized the demonstrations. They're asking for the chain to address allegations of sexual harassment in its restaurants. They also want better job security and training. A wanted suspect in Connecticut asking for Facebook likes. Joe Sims is wanted on multiple warrants for not appearing in court. Police have been trying to negotiate his surrender. They say he's agreed to turn himself in if he gets 15,000 likes on the department's Facebook page. The post has since received more than 15,000 likes, but Sims is still out there. A historic house in downtown San Antonio moved from one side of the street to the other today. The 550-ton home is known as the Historic King House. It's been standing since the 1880s. The land it was originally on was sold to a Dallas developer. To read more about these nine stories, go to ksat.com slash news at nine.